Welcome back tonight in an international edition of Meet the Midterms. Voters are heading to the polls on Sunday in Russia to elect a president to a six-year term. Polls show an independent candidate in the lead. It's the current president, former prime minister, and KGB foreign intelligence officer, Vladimir Putin. His closest rivals are the Communist Party candidate and an ultra-nationalist candidate, both more than 60 points back. Two prominent Putin rivals will not be on the ballot. Politician Boris Nemtsov was assassinated in Moscow in 2015, and an anti-corruption campaigner, Alexei Navalny, is barred from seeking election after being convicted of embezzlement, charges he, of course, contests. Like our election here in the States, Sunday's contest in Russia is all about expectation setting and turnout. Election observers say the Kremlin is aiming for its normal turnout level of around 70 percent to showcase the results as a mandate for President Putin. Anything lower they fear would be viewed as Putin losing support inside Russia. So to boost turnout, Putin is meddling in his own election. He's hitting the stump to pitch the same election promises we do here. Social spending, a beefed up nuclear arsenal, and of course, infrastructure. But the date of the election itself appears to be designed to highlight Putin's resume. March 18th. The date Russia annexed Crimea four years ago. No accident. If no candidate gets a majority of the ballots, by the way, a second round will be held in two weeks. But it's probably safe to start printing those Putin 2024 lawn signs. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.